Here are a couple of nice ways from within add-on to keep track of inventory. I'm in the inventory module and I'm going to bring up the inventory item master. I'm using item 1400 from the demo data as an example. You can go to the warehouse master and on a warehouse by warehouse basis you can take a look at the quantities on hand on order committed. There are some nice drill downs here that let me see for example the orders that comprise the 30 units that we have committed here. But you can get there even faster by launching a query such as this one. From the availability query we can see the availability across all warehouses. So this gets us there more quickly. And what we can do then in this availability query is simply hyperlink to that same information. So by clicking here on the 30 I can get back to that query that shows me customers 100 and 200, here are the sales orders and the quantities that are on order in each of those orders. So likewise I can go directly to the information for warehouse 2 and see that I have a purchase order out here that makes up that 100 on order. If I click the on hand, a little different operation, this is going to actually go for that particular warehouse over to all of the transactions and show me the transactions that are responsible for, if you will, that current quantity on hand. So very easy to get to a lot of information quickly. Now I don't have to get there just from inventory. I could come at it from the other direction. Let's go into the accounts receivable module, for example, and go into the customers form instead. So I've called up customer 100. We have some existing queries here for looking at quotes or orders or invoices. I'll bring up open orders for this customer. And again, this italicized font here clues us in that we can click here and get something else to happen. So if I take a look by clicking, I can see the details. What were the line items, in other words, for order 1139? Well, we can see that we had a 1400, 1401, and 1402. These non-italicized links will, of course, take me to the underlying record so I could get to the warehouse record or the inventory item master where we just were. But again, I have a hyperlink. So this hyperlink then will let me go directly for item 1400 then back to that very same place. So I have seen a particular customer. I've taken a look at that customer's orders. I've looked at a specific order, which items were on order. And now I'm saying, okay, what other orders are out there that are making use of item 1400? A, a real good example of ways that you can get from one set of data to the next by virtue of the relationships between them and the ability to use these custom queries and drill downs.